major physical features. The topography of North America comprises several spectacular features. Broadly speaking, these physical features may be studied under the following heads. Western Cordilleras, including Rocky Mountains, Eastern Highlands or Appalachian Highlands, Canadian Shield, Central Plains, including the Prairies. The Western Cordilleras These mountain ranges extend from north to the south in a series of parallel ranges. Beginning from the north are the Brooks and the Alaska Ranges in the Alaska state of USA. Mount McKinley in the Alaska Range is the highest mountain peak of North America. In Canada lie the Mackenzie Mountains. The coastal ranges bordering the Pacific from north to the southern edge of the continent are the Coast Range, the Cascade Range, the Sierra Nevada and Western Sierra Madre or Sierra Madre Occidental. Sierra Madre Occidental is a part of the two ranges into which the Rocky Mountains divide in Mexico. The other range is Eastern Sierra Madre or Sierra Madre Oriental that lies towards the Gulf of Mexico. To the east of the coastal ranges lie the Rocky Mountain ranges stretching from Canada in the north to Mexico in the south. The Western Cordilleras are also a region of several intermontane plateaus. The Alaska Plateau, the British Columbia Plateau, the Great Basin, the Colorado Plateau and the Mexican Plateau are the intermontane plateaus of the Western Cordillera region. The Great Basin is the largest intermontane plateau of North America and an area of inland drainage. The Great Salt Lake is a part of the Great Basin. The Great Canyon lies in the Colorado Plateau region. A great tourism center of North America, the canyon has been carved by the Colorado River. As the region of the Cordilleras lie in the Ring of Fire, the belt of volcanoes around the Pacific Ocean, there are several volcanoes in this area, especially in Alaska and Mexico. At these places, because of the heat from within the Earth's interior water gushes out from the steam as a fountain. The old faithful geyser at the Yellowstone National Park, USA is one such world famous tourist spot of the area. The Eastern Highlands The Eastern Highlands, also known as the Appalachian Highlands, lie in the countries of Canada and USA. They are less in height than the Western Cordilleras. It is due to erosion that their height has been reduced. They are made up of ancient rocks and are the old fold mountains. Mount Washington is the highest point in the Eastern Highlands. The gaps formed by St. Lawrence and Hudson Rivers enable penetration into the continent from the east. Several fast flowing streams descend from these highlands forming rapids and waterfalls and join the Atlantic Ocean on the east. These rivers present excellent sites for generation of hydroelectric power. On the eastern side of these highlands lie the Piedmont Plateau that has steep sloping side which merges with the Atlantic coastal plains. The Appalachians are a region of rich deposits of coal, copper and lead. The Canadian Shield The Canadian Shield bordering the Hudson Bay covers most of the land area of Alaska. The region slopes northwards and eastwards and has several lakes spread all over the Shield. Lake Great Slave, Lake Glade Bear, Lake Winnipeg, Lake Athabasca and the Great Lakes are some of the lakes that form a part of the Canadian Shield. The shield which was completely covered by ice during the Ice Age has been worn down to form a peneplain. It is formed by the oldest and the hardest rocks found over the continent. The eastern part of the shield is formed by the Labrador Plateau. The several islands lying towards the north in the Arctic Ocean represent the submerged portion of the Canadian Shield. 
These include the Baffin Island, which is the largest, the Victoria Island, etc. The entire shield has deposits of various minerals like gold, silver, uranium, iron, copper, etc. The Central Plains The Central Plains stretch from the Arctic Ocean in the north to the Gulf of Mexico in the south. These lowlands are bordered by the Rocky Mountains or the Western Cordilleras in the west and the Appalachians towards their east. The Canadian Shield borders these plains along the coastal areas around the Hudson Bay. The northernmost portions of these plains is drained by River Mackenzie, which flows northwards and joins the Arctic Ocean. The south-flowing Mississippi River and its tributaries that flow into the Gulf of Mexico form the southern portion of the plains. The area of these plains along the Rockies is quite high and there they are known as the High Plains. The plains are the most suitable areas for agricultural activities, especially in the basin area of Mississippi and its tributaries. This is because of the fertile alluvial soil deposited by the several rivers flowing through these central lowlands. Fact Canada has 10% of the world's forests. Annually, less than 1% of Canada's forests are harvested.